Hello guys, Brickley here, and today we have more leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So first off, we start off with an image of two brand new LEGO football themed minifigures. You can see the one on the left features a brand new blue kit design and then the one on the right features a red kit design. These are totally unbranded kits, so aren't linked to any sports teams. And I think where these are likely to be coming to fit in a set is 21337, the foosball table. This one, of course, was approved back at LEGO Con last year. It is expected to be coming on shelves on November 1st, 2022. The original rumor price was 300 $150, but it seems during development some changes have been made as the set now has a brand new retail price of $250 which a lot of you will be relieved about given how many expensive sets there is these days but the minifigures nonetheless are really good they feature a brand new face print also some great uh, hair molds so it looks like this set may be a great way to get some really exclusive and unique minifigure parts so it'll be a parts pack as well as a great foosball table and honestly speaking of LEGO ideas the LEGO X Target Vault winner has been revealed this one being the Viking Village, which I thought would probably win myself. This one, I presume, will we see released within the first half of 2023. So probably maybe about nine months to wait for this one till it hits shelves. And then last week, when the LEGO Hogwarts Express was revealed, the lead designer basically made some comments saying how he designed the set and announced he would be leaving the design team. So someone commented, "Well, basically, what is happening to Gringotts?" But um, usually, designers will just say we like they don't basically hint on upcoming sets but he basically said that the project is in safe hands which i think potentially teases the set of course everything is going towards us getting gringotts next year in the brand new london store there is a wide range of models built into it which have clearly been designed and then put into the store and upscaled and some of them are renders just like you see in a set which they wouldn't really have done just for lego store so i think all this is adding up to a very strong rumor that we will be getting gringotts in 2023 at last so you'll all be excited for that one and then for zero five seven eight this one is titled the sandwich shop and this one will be the next lego gift we purchase it should be similar to the coffee cart which we saw last year and this one should be available from the 16th to the end of september we don't know the threshold yet but it is probably around 100 to 150 dollars of course when more information comes available you'll know it but that does mean now the rare the castaway gift we purchase should be available in october so that one has been longer awaited by fans so it'll be good news to get that one in october and we got a better look at some of the marvel figures coming in the upcoming Black Panther set. And Baku is this one. Some great torso printing on the front and the back. Also a great facial expression. And then spoiler alert, if you want, want to see things based off who the next Black Panther is, skip probably about 20, 30 seconds ahead. But here we have some brand new figures. So we have the Iron Heart on the left and then also Shuri is Black Panther on the right. These two feature some amazing printing, especially on the Iron Heart. And they're using the older design for the Iron Man mask it's for that. The printing on the front, I really, really like that character. And we got a look at some leaks Lego Star Wars heads. This one will probably be for the Mithril figure, which should be coming in the UCS Razor Crest. It does look like it won't be using a molded head, but instead just like a mold printed onto a minifigure head, which is a shame. But like I say, coming in the Lego UCS. Razor Crest and that head is using that light blue design but we actually got better images at the Lego Quill minifigure this one also coming in the Razor Crest this one has caused a lot of controversy but with a clearer look at the minifigure I don't think it is as bad as some people are saying it does feature of course a brand new specialized head mold and some great torso printing no printing on the legs as they are just the small one you can see that printing is continued onto the back of the figure but those two figures so far are making the set sound pretty cool and let's speak in of Star Wars thanks to promo breaks we got the entire first half of 20 2023 set rumors so we have 75344 the slave one mic fighter this one coming in at ten dollars that includes the book of boba fett boba fett version and then we have the five of us specialty battle pack this one coming in at twenty dollars and it also includes four minifigures which will be very desirable given they're all going to be new and then we also have a brand new tie bomber for the first time in a long time this one coming in at sixty five dollars it should contain at least three figures with darth vader a tie pilot and a gong droid and then in march we're going to be getting three more helmets so these ones include Cody and also Rex and then the other one is rumored to be an Endor Trooper which is exciting we're also getting two brand new dioramas around April and May time so we have the Death Star throne room diorama this one coming in at $100 and then the other one will be an Endor speeder bike chase diorama this one coming in at $80 including four minifigures so those two sound pretty interesting then we also have a brand new the fourth set coming in at the new $240 price point when they used to be $200 we'll also be getting a May 4th promo being set number 40591 it's not known what that one will be be 
yeah and then we also have some unknown sets we have two mandalorian season three sets we don't know when these will release either coming in at 35 dollars and also 100 dollars there also is a brand new other unknown set coming in at 70 dollars this one being set number 76351 we're also getting two brand new brickheads packs these ones will release in the first half of next year i think personally for me i would love to see a cody and rex two pack even the bad batch a set of five next year i think would do really well as they've shown they can do bigger brickheads packs and then we got fish images of the lego ideas 21335 the motorized lighthouse this one should be launching on september 1st and it's coming in at 265 pound or 300 dollars Definitely expensive given the piece count is just over 2,000 pieces, but the model does look really impressive and a striking display model. It does include, I think, three electronic components, which of course bring the price up a lot. So I think that is why it is that hefty price tag. But nonetheless, I do think it is a really good looking set. One I will definitely be picking up at some point. Maybe a lot of you will be waiting for a sale. And we got a lot of what's coming in the next Lego Explorer magazine. This one being a fantasy dragon build. It really reminds us that that dragon you see all around Lego lands around the world. That one should be available in the magazine around September time. And then we also have this kind of headpiece, which we don't know where it'll fit into. It is an existing headpiece, but it's that in that brand new light gray color scheme. I can see this one maybe appearing in the upcoming winter village set but let me know down below if you have any suggestions of where this hair piece could be included it does look pretty good though as a brand new recolor it's always good for minifigure pieces and then for lego harry potter we have some brand new plush toys joined in the range from august 1st these will slowly be appearing in stores so the characters are a whole range of the iconic characters we see in the lego harry potter movies like harry potter himself dumbledore also voldemort hagrid hermione and also hedwig the owl i think either in the us these are available at target right now and i think usually around the world these appear on amazon so i think by christmas time they'll be in more stores which are exciting and we got a look at the series 23 six pack minifigures these are now widely available in stores in the next few weeks when they come available on september 1st you can see these are the same color as we're seeing on the packaging with that solid orange coloring like i said those launch on september 1st and it just costs the price of six packets in your country and then for lego marvel of course we are getting the brand new hope buster in october this one being set number 76215 the hope buster mark 2 $300 and it's based on Infinity War but so many of you have been asking that other set 762110 this one the big Marvel set for 2022 is rumored to be coming in at a whopping $500 but new rumors are now suggesting it this one won't be an Avengers Tower which is just going because this one would have been the perfect size and perfect time to do an Avengers Tower in that modular style it also apparently isn't a helicarrier which was the most obvious second option so that kind of rules out any sort of building like the Daily Bugle so it is really confusing what this set is actually going to entail we now know that it will be launching in november though but i just don't really know what it's going to be now given it's not an avengers tower or a helicarrier and doesn't look like it will be a building at all so that's kind of confusing but we still got the hope buster to look forward to i'm sure the reveal of that one will be in a few weeks but that's some huge new 2022 leaks and rumors comment down below which ones you're excited for which ones are you not like video subscribe and turn notifications more lego videos and lego news videos which any of videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and bricking i'll see you all there guys bye bye